I'm Peter Sidwell and welcome to our first Simply Good Cooking how-to video. Now we've done some research on the internet, on Twitter and on Facebook and the highest ranking inquiry that we wanted or should I say plead with people was how to poach the perfect egg. So that's what we're going to do. So I've got a pan here, I'm going to get some water straight on, I've boiled some in the kettle so it's going to get hot nice and quick, get the gas on full get it right up to temperature. Now, for me, poaching eggs, there's a few key things that you've got to do. We've got to get some white vinegar in the pan, because what that does is it helps the white bind around the yolk and we get a nice, round, lovely poached egg. And then the other thing is to use really fresh eggs. If you use old eggs, when they poach, they'll kind of go all to the bottom and go all stringy and it look like a poached fried egg, which is not what we want. What we want is a lovely white just wrapped around that yolk and all kind of encased like a little white fluffy pillow. So, white vinegar. doesn't matter whether it's balsamic white, white wine vinegar, or just distilled white vinegar because you don't want that horrible sort of murky brown colour. Get yourself a little shallow coffee cup like this. This is one that we used to use in the cafe, good taste, that we used to have in Keswick. They're great for poaching eggs. So the first thing we need to do is just crack one at a time into here. So there's one. The water's up to the boil, just turn it right down. We want a really gentle rumble. And then just pop the egg into the pan, lower the cup, let a little bit of water in, and then just kind of release it. Almost like letting a goldfish go in a pond, really. You just kind of drop it in, you open it up, and it just swims out gently. You kind of let a bit of water in, and everything's cushy. So the other egg, quickly, because you don't want both eggs to be the same. You want a nice, runny, lovely yolk. So pop that one in as well. Drop it in, let a bit of water in, and then just release it. And that's it. And what you can see now is like the egg yolk's kind of just gone around the yolk, and it's just poaching perfectly there. So we just leave that on the lowest possible heat and just let it tick over gently. We've got some awesome bloomer bread here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to cut this. That should just take a few minutes. Eggs are going to take a couple of minutes now because they're on really low heat and they're just ticking over. So you've got loads of time now to get your plates, get your butter out, that sort of thing. Toast is ready. So we just get this buttered. Okay. So we should be about ready with the eggs. What you need is a slotted spoon, really important. And then just lift the eggs out and then just kind of pull it up the side of the pan and you make sure you get rid of all the water and then just really carefully lift it out and straight onto the toast. There we go, perfect little poached egg. And then the same again with the second one. Just drain off all that water, there's nothing worse than having these lovely poached eggs and loads of water and you've got really soggy toast. Not good. There we go. And for me, I always have to have a little sprinkle of black pepper on top of my eggs. I think it makes all the difference. And then that is it. That is how to make my perfect poached eggs. Really easy. If you want the exact recipe, go to our website, which is simplygoodtaste.co.uk. But you know what? It's so easy. You don't need a recipe. Two slices of bread, two eggs, water, happy days.